Today, we're taking a trip down memory lane to explore one of Nintendo's most iconic early creations, the Game & Watch. If you're a fan of video games, then you've definitely heard of Nintendo. But before the company revolutionized the gaming world with the NES, Super Mario, and Zelda, they gave us something smaller, simpler, but no less groundbreaking, the Game & Watch. So, how did a series of handheld games inspire the portable gaming revolution? Stick around as we uncover the fascinating history behind the Game & Watch. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Let's start with some background. By the late 1970s, Nintendo was still primarily known for its playing cards and various toys. They dabbled in the arcade scene with hits like Donkey Kong, but the home console market was still in its infancy. Enter Gunpei Yokoi, a talented Nintendo engineer who had an eye for innovation. One day in 1979, while traveling on a train, Yokoi saw a businessman fiddling with a pocket calculator to pass the time. That moment sparked an idea. Why not create a handheld device that combined simple gameplay with a digital screen? This was the birth of the game and watch. At the time, portable entertainment wasn't common. Mobile phones were non-existent. And if you were looking for games, you were limited to bulky arcade machines or rudimentary home consoles. What Yokoi envisioned was different. Something you could carry in your pocket and play anytime anywhere. Fast forward to 1980, when Nintendo released the first game and watch, Ball. It was a simple juggling game, where players controlled a character catching balls on a tiny LCD screen. The idea was minimalist by today's standards, but back then, it was revolutionary. The handheld featured a single game with an intuitive control scheme, which consisted of just a couple of buttons. But here's where the genius of the game and watch came in. It wasn't just a game. True to its name, the device also functioned as a digital clock, making it both a source of entertainment and a practical tool. This dual-purpose design not only justified its price tag, but made it feel like a cool gadget rather than just a toy. It's worth noting that LCD screens, those simple black and white displays, were not common in games at the time. The Game & Watch helped to popularize this technology in gaming devices. Ball was successful enough that Nintendo quickly followed up with more Game & Watch titles. Each device in the series typically focused on one game and came in a range of colors and shapes, some of which even included a built-in alarm clock feature. One of the key elements that made Game & Watch such a success was its innovation. Gunpei Yokoi didn't just settle for single-screen games. He was constantly looking for ways to push the boundaries of what the device could do. In 1982, Nintendo introduced Donkey Kong on the Game & Watch, which brought with it a groundbreaking feature, the dual-screen design. This clamshell structure was unlike anything seen before and gave the games a more expansive feel. Players now had twice the space to interact with the game world, allowing for more complex mechanics and more engaging gameplay. Sound familiar? The dual-screen layout would later inspire the design of the Nintendo DS, a portable console that became a major success decades later. Another feature introduced during this era was the cross-shaped D-pad, which allowed for more precise control. The D-pad became a staple of Nintendo's gaming hardware, appearing later on consoles like the NES and Game Boy. It's amazing to think that a feature so integral to gaming today started with a tiny handheld in the 1980s. As the Game & Watch line grew, so did the number of games and characters that would become synonymous with Nintendo. Some of the earliest versions of Donkey Kong, Mario and Zelda appeared on these handhelds. In fact, it was through Game and & Watch that many gamers were introduced to characters that would later become central to Nintendo's empire. 
Take Donkey Kong as an example. Released in 1982, it wasn't just a hit in arcades, the Game & Watch version made it accessible on the go. Donkey Kong is also where Mario, then called Jumpman, made his debut, and the Game & Watch version helped solidify him as a key figure in gaming culture. The Game & Watch wasn't just a stepping stone for Nintendo, it was also a testing ground. Characters, gameplay mechanics, and design features that started on the Game & Watch would go on to shape the company's future consoles and titles. It laid the foundation for their handheld market, which later exploded with the release of the Game Boy. Although the production of Game & Watch devices stopped in 1991, the impact of this series is still felt in the gaming world today. Nintendo produced 59 different Game & Watch titles over the span of a decade, selling millions of units worldwide. For many, it was their first introduction to portable gaming, and the simplicity and charm of these devices left a lasting impression. The dual-screen design of Donkey Kong inspired the creation of the Nintendo DS, one of the best-selling handheld consoles of all time. The D-Pad, which made its debut on the Game & Watch, remains a staple in game controllers to this day. Even the idea of a portable device combining gaming and other functions, like the clock on the Game & Watch, can be seen in modern smartphones, which are essentially multimedia devices that also let us play games. To celebrate the Game & Watch's legacy, Nintendo has released special anniversary editions, like the Game & Watch Super Mario Bros. in 2020, which featured the classic Super Mario Bros. & Ball, along with a built-in clock, just like the original Game & Watch. It's a nostalgic nod to the handheld that helped shape portable gaming as we know it. Today, original Game & Watch devices have become sought-after collector's items. Whether it's for the nostalgia factor or the desire to own a piece of gaming history, fans pay premium prices for these devices. Some of the rarer models, like Fire Attack or Super Mario Brothers, fetch hundreds, even thousands of dollars at auctions. But more than just a collectible, Game & Watch remains a symbol of Nintendo's creativity and ability to innovate within the gaming industry. What started as a simple idea on a train journey became a key turning point in gaming history. So there you have it, the story of how Nintendo's Game & Watch shaped the world of portable gaming. What started as a simple handheld device became a precursor to some of the most iconic gaming systems and characters in history. If you've ever played a Game Boy, a DS, or even a Switch, you've felt the influence of Game & Watch. Thanks for joining us on this retro journey. Let us know in the comments what your favorite retro game is and if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.